good morning, good evening, whatever time is it there, where you are. It's another video that I start with a rope, how it's going to be a realistic vlog in my life if I don't look like this. But that doesn't have to stop us from creating. Made myself breakfast. Today I am alone at home, I have uh, a lot of stuff to do today. So I'm going to show you step by step how is my day structured. For today I planned to do editing on my last photo shoots from the 12 gods. I have to edit the Poseidon god and the Hades god. This is going to be really exciting. I am not sure if I'm going to finish them today though, but definitely I'm going to do a bigger portion of my work. After I have to edit another video for YouTube, this is going to be, I think, the yeah, the January reset video. You probably already have watched it because this is going to be after it. I want to show you how it is outside. It's just magical. I will try to definitely go outside today. I will wear something warm. Although I don't like cold and I don't like to be outside when it's cold, but I think I just want to see how the sun hits the snow it just and uh, to walk a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a long walk, it will be just, uh, just for the sake of it, I will say that I was outside today. Today it's going to be uh, quite a busy day. Besides my computer work, I also have to clean. I want to have a cleaning day. And I want to rearrange some stuff here. I want to go down to the basement and uh, because I'm cleaning the basement as well, small portions each day. I think today will be the last day. And pretty much I think that will take the whole day until it gets dark because after it gets dark, I'm really not motivated to do anything at all. I, but when it's sunny like this, I am like, let's work. You know what? I decided to not change for now. I just did like a light makeup just to like myself on video so you don't see my sleepy face. <laughs> and you know, I was thinking of before making this video if I should make a weekly vlog because maybe to show you from Wednesday until Monday when I eventually go back to Greece. But then I thought that you wouldn't really want to see my sad mood and I, I think I'm going to be sad definitely these are the rules and uh, hopefully we'll come back in spring here again I just thought that it wouldn't be so fun maybe for you to watch and maybe I wouldn't be in the exact nice mood to create a video for you I know I am I am for a realistic type videos not for creating something that doesn't exist or showing you something fake and I don't want to fake on a video and plus I think I would like to keep these maybe intimate moments for myself when I'm going to the airport when we are going to say goodbye so I decided to do just a day in my life vlog here in Philadelphia still I'm going to share about the, the behind the scenes of my photography life how I edit how I spend my day just at home. It's a nice winter day, so I hope it will be a little interesting to you. Whenever I am too long in my pajamas and the robe, I start to feel so much cold in the house and the paradox if i change like now i am now in a t-shirt and i feel better maybe because i just had to move <laughs> stand up from the chair and just move around for the blood circulation let me show you this cutie this is a money tree and its original name is uh, let me let me see Oh, it's actually Pachira Money Tree or Pachira Aquatica. Plants in the bedroom actually can help you to sleep better. They produce oxygen at night and absorb carbon dioxide. And even with two people in the bedroom, a lot of <laughs> carbon dioxide can be produced. 
having some plants can, can actually help. I actually read now that having cut flowers, by having them, they produce uh, they produce the carbon dioxide. So I guess it's not recommended to have cut plants right in your bedroom. I like to have cut plants, but now definitely I'm going to put them solely in the living room or in the kitchen. And this is another plant. It is called snake plant or dragon plant because of the leaves that are in the shape of a tongue, I guess, or in the shape of a snake, maybe. These plants are very impressive. I have seen I have seen a vlog where uh, a girl had this plant, but it was much bigger. It was like uh, positioned in on the floor and it was much bigger. So I really hope this little one will grow one day into a big one. But obviously you have to repot plants so they will be able to grow. And this is actually above the snake plant. And it's a gift that I gifted to my boyfriend, I think for last Christmas. Yeah, for last Christmas. It's basically a world map, but you can scratch the places where you have already been, where you have uh, the the, or the cities that you have visited. Um, I think it's very cool and I would like to have a map like this for myself in Greece. I don't know if there is a point now, but maybe for the amount of time I am in Greece, I can still have it because Definitely, this is the places that my boyfriend has visited, not me. Uh, and the only f like disadvantage of these maps is that um, you don't really see where the cities are. Obviously, this is such a small area to scratch. So <laughs> he just scratched, like, for example, all Mexico or all Texas, but he has been like in uh, two cities, let's say. But it's it's still fun. It's still fun, and uh, it gives you actually motivation to visit more places. I believe the amount of laundry that I've done, it's insane. Oh, this needs to dry more. What I love in USA, probably we have this type of things in Europe too. I just wasn't never interested in investigate that they have here dryers i have mentioned that in a previous vlog that they have they can have uh, dryers to dry off your clothes after washing them and i believe this is so useful because you don't have to hang them outside and wait until they will dry off the next day we do that in greece this is how i am this is to what I am used to and comparing to this method of drying the clothes, I feel that it's just much more quicker and useful. I understand that uh, maybe the clothes, you can preserve them in a better condition when they just dry off themselves rather than in the dryer maybe, but it really depends if a specific piece of clothing needs you know special require special treatment you can just apply that special treatment to this piece of clothing and that's it you don't have to uh over complicate this eventually it became colder i put a hoodie and now i'm going to eat but why i'm so excited about that i'll show you in a second friends this is something amazing it's yesterday tacos i really don't think they will be as good as yesterday but we really had to take some home because they were so delicious they were only one dollar it was a taco tuesday yesterday and we we couldn't believe that there is a deal like this i will put the name of the place if you're interested you can check it out if you are in the philadelphia area so i got chicken taco two and a veggie taco and yesterday i got the same so i'm eating meat today it's okay it was just the taste was so delicious like all the vegetables the sauce the meat everything just is perfect i think it's the best tacos that i have tried in all my life i am just 
thinking what would be the best way to heat them up would it be the pan or the microwave i'm just afraid if i put them in the microwave they will be uh not as i would like them oh i will put them in the microwave and then i will put them on the pan so we'll have a combination and we'll see how it goes and check it out so they give every time whenever you order something they give you chips and a sauce it's actually very uh spicy i just love that fact that they the microwave you know it's such a small thing what a place can do it's only some chips you know and salsa it's something so cheap to just give away i don't think it costs them that much it's something nice that or it can be a piece of bread or it can be a sauce or it can be anything else like these small things that a place can offer whenever you order something obviously it's just perfect i am i was really impressed so we went to this place for a second time now and it's it's a very simple place like nothing fancy it's uh, just a nice uh, mexican restaurant where you can order very budget friendly food i believe this this should be this way i think that everything that's tasty doesn't have to look presentative i mean it's obviously better when it does but it just doesn't have to <laughs> i'm not sure if it will be the same as good as yesterday but i definitely want to eat them what was cool about the veggie taco is that they put also rice in it so it was like a mini burrito very cold but so pleasant at the same time i have to pay attention to not sleep that would be actually very funny <laughs> and painful it's so pleasant the sun is still out it's uh, slightly past 4 p.m and it's just so peaceful that i don't want to ruin it with my with my voice that's why i'm kind of talking very quietly so as you see it's very home based day today i don't think we will do anything later with mari at night i think we will just stay home oh look at this how great is to be back in the warmth again and uh, also how important are those 15 or 20 minutes that you are able to spend just to go outside to have some fresh even winter air if you just spend at home a lot of time it's just so important to just have that uh to have that walk to have some minutes for yourself to observe the nature the trees the sun uh the birds or the squirrels here i see a lot of squirrels and i just love them it's uh, just important to appreciate those little moments and just to enjoy to enjoy life to enjoy them to just realize that you're alive and to be happy about that and i'm not telling this in a cheesy way it's just what it is like to be happy that you can actually see all these things and some days can be very calm like this one nothing exciting has happened you know um just a simple day i think now that i still have some light from the window i will tell you my goodbye i will try to film even more vlogs lifestyle content or let me know what you are interested in if you're interested in some kind of specific topics that you would like me to talk about let me know in the comments it's a great way to engage with each other i am talking to you throughout through my videos and you can obviously talk with me through the comments down below that would be 
awesome. Until the next time, friends, see you soon in the next video.